Good, so we're checking out McDonald's in Bangkok. I got the mug spicy. Chicken. I wonder how spicy it is. I haven't had McDonald's. Probably is. So the verdict on the Bangkok McDonald's is that it tastes exactly like KFC. <laughs> More I didn't, like I didn't help math I did. Yeah. Mainly the weird thing is that it tasted more like KFC than the KFC tasted like KFC. So how do you rate Bangkok McDonald's? Yeah, you got a lot for your money. Yeah, it was very cheap. I'm super full, it was good. But our stomachs have shrunk. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I ate like 1,000 calories less than we had Hooters yesterday. Oh, yeah, we had Hooters. I had a Hooters and a sandwich. That's all I ate all day. Uh, I only had chicken with Hooters. Yeah, I got some of Stephanie's shrub. I had two pieces of chicken and a large Hooters. They just give you, they give you your size. It's large, it's the only size. Yeah. Um, I think they just gave us large. Oh, I, think, really? like, I think it's like an assumption for the Westerners. Yeah, and they just decided we were going to have Coke as well. Yeah, I know. I asked, for, I asked for Fanta, but they gave us Coke. Yeah, yeah. They just gave us Coke. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a horrendous tank top, the only thing I had clean. And I'm gonna get the last few days of breeze. We're gonna check out the Bangkok Mall. We did it the other day when we first came. But we missed like the luxury one called Sham Paragon, which I think is like the Thai equivalent of Paris. Yeah. Bangkok does smell. I check out the fish though. It's like a fish market or something. Okay, we just. They don't speak English. Well. We uh, found this, this random shopping mall. Found a fat Trojan horse. Yeah. It, it looks very luxury. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm gonna be allowed in my pub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe this is the equivalent parrot. And then Siam Paragon is probably like Selfridges. So nice in here. Yeah. <laughs> How much? What do you think the most expensive thing? In here? Yeah. Tommy Ford suit. Except he's out of Tony shoes. I literally thought this was the embassy. This place, is called, this place is called Central Embassy and I thought it was like an embassy or something. Do you say... Oh, I thought it was Mark Peter Watson. What's the most expensive thing? Like 20 grand. I feel like the process is, don't bother approaching me, I'm not going to get the whole <laughs> Try and sell your watch, yeah. <laughs> like, is this thing different between like the sprawling outdoor market and I've got the to sell you anything here where they're like, don't come near us peasants. <laughs> we are the only people in here in the best. <laughs> this place looks so cool, like the architecture of it as well. It's just unreal. Yes, this one is here. Oh, okay. Giuseppe is very popular in Asia. Really? Yeah, more popular in Asia than it is in like, Germany. Yeah, yeah. It's Italian, bro. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, that was that was 48,000 baht for those shoes. So wait, 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 wait. It's all right, what, 50? It was 960 pounds. <laughs> yeah, Prada? Yeah, this is, this is like Paul's Bakery. It's so good. The mackerel. Chocolate. 140 baht. Yeah, that's that same as it was in the UK. Bangkok has so many more. Oh, this Probably is in the nice area. Yeah. We'll get when you went to Cumber. We stayed in Kaosan before. This is what? Fourth mall? Yeah. Third mall. Absolutely massive. I know. And we haven't even gotten to the malls we wanted to go to no, yet. We just get side bags from cars. It's so weird that it's just like, we're on the third floor of the mall, and then there's just, oh. there's, there's cards everywhere. Do you like the Vanquish there or the DB9? I'd like the DB9, but I like it in the Vanquish colours. Like, Vanquish. Think, We've got like, ro they have Rolls Royce up here as well. Like, how do they? It smells like rats. Must have driven out the estate. Like, it, it is like baffling how they get the cars up here. Is that Tesla? Oh no, it's McLaren. Or, no, this. This is a pretty car. There's just like loads of luxury cars up here. And it just doesn't make me. This is Maserati. 
It just doesn't really make any sense to me how they got it up here. It's like, oh yeah, would you like to drive it away? He's like, yeah, yeah. right. In the case of John Strick, the glass doors. <laughs> they must definitely obviously set them up. Yeah, they must do. Okay, so we're in the we're in the mall that we wanted to be in. Right. We took us ages. We went I thought we'd been to MVK. No, we already been to MVK. Oh right, we went to the list. Yeah, because we didn't. We only went to the ground floor of this. We didn't really explore it. This is like the food court. Yeah, we're gonna check out Krispy Kreme's because they got the weirdest flavors. So I'm gonna get one of the weird flavors, I think. Palm cheese. That's interesting. How's your Kit Kat? Yeah. Mm. It looks pretty good. I'm so scared of what this is gonna be like. It must be. It must be good if they're selling it. Like they must be like tested. It. The inside of it is sweet. <laughs> That has cheese on it. That's like actual cheese. I'm actually terrified. Not too bad. The smell is bad. Is it cream cheese or something? I don't know. It doesn't really taste of anything. This is the most confused I've been. Do we some crickets? We should only stand the crickets. It's honestly tasteless. This is weird because I've tried the, this cream and this cheese, but together it's, it doesn't taste of it. It makes it all though. Oh. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. I've all had a cinnamon donut as well, but I can actually enjoy it. <laughs> This one has a taste. But this is like Ben and Jerry's going nuts. I don't know. I don't know who these people are. No, they look like big Thai superstars. Ben and Jerry's are doing something as well. Those people look like massive Thai superstars. Because people are just like lining up to them. I have no idea what's going on. I don't need to go into someone's mouth. Okay, so we've come to see what this weird face thing is. The thing behind us is the weird face. I don't even know what company this is. It looks like some sort of media company. Please help show the image so you can put your face on this thing next 3D. Really? Yeah. This is cool. Me and Harry managed to skip the queue. I quite like wild. I also like freedom. This is what <laughs> so this is what it was for me. Hi. <laughs> Did you see your one? Yeah, I sent it. Yeah. Oh, your, one, cool. your one was quite cool. There you go, I got me. See, this is an old school 3D camera. It's like two cameras stuck to each other. That's the strangest thing. Get close to it. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. But yeah. All right, we're back. Okay, so I'm at BKK. I'm leaving Thailand. It's been a great month. Harry's leaving later. He's got a later flight. He's not to fly until about 9 o'clock in the evening. So, got the security, got the everything. The weirdest thing about this airport is got a passport control before you leave. So I understand that key for absolute ages. 
Actually, no, man, that was meal should be tight. But it was really fancy Burger King. This is probably one of my favourite things I've discovered in Thailand. Or Santa. Look at that article. Really impressive. Scene of the churning of the milk potion. Yeah, it is in it's a Hindu thing. Given that Thailand is a primarily British country, we've got a Hindu. So I've just arrived in Heathrow and, and yeah, it was a good flight. I didn't sleep at all because we arrived at around 6 o'clock so I didn't want to sleep and get jet lagged. So yeah, back home. It's been a great trip and now I've got a lot of editing to do.